Greetings, entities of the internet. We're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. We have Res and we have Parafit. You can see the perks and traits up there on the screen. We are going to be doing Endless Mode. How far can we make it? Hopefully to the end. Let's hit it. So some things to know is uh, we have over here, Rest, we have Civilized and Explore. So for Civilized, we're going to have amazing personality traits across the board. Uh, and we're going to have decent medical and mechanical starting out as well. We do not know the strength, fitness, and shooting, which is why we're going to leave that role to Parafit. Because they have ultra fit, meaning that they have way better fitness than normal. Uh, and I gave them paranoid so that they have a great wits, terrible attitude, so they'll have the paranoid stat combo, meaning that, well, they're paranoid. Helps a lot with uh, finding out stats of recruits and uh, getting through bandit encounters that our civilized front here would not be able to do. As for equipping, we have two flashlights, Kane on rest, and Parafit has the frying pan, and I'm breaking weapons, so let's go ahead and do it. Now with the explorer tray, we get to have one extra looting encounter uh, per set of places that we can go, so we can really get the most bang for our buck and pick the best encounter for us. Starting out, I find Yalmart to be the best because it tends to have more food than normal, which is very useful for an endless run in which we will be needing as much food as possible. Again, nice snub nose pistol starting out. We are not going to end up using its bullets, but it will be great for the occasional looting event. Not looting event, uh, just text event in general. Uh, like, uh, moose in the morning and, uh, the keys in the gator mount. So I'll just hush up and finish off this uh, quick looting encounter. Alright, we end up finishing off that looting encounter with a total of 5 extra food, 66 gas, and 7 shotgun bullets. Not the best, but it'll do for now. I'm going to go ahead and put that gun inside of uh, the trunk. Oof, that's not good. I'm going to trust Parafit on this because if I uh, have rest do the shift, that means that they are going to go into critical morale. Alright, there we go, uh, washed out road, we can take a detour, plow through, or let's jump it. I'm going to take a detour because we have explore. And we have early morning zombies, furniture store or umbrella shop. Umbrella shop is going to give us a weapon, furniture store is not really good early on because there's not many zombies. So we're just going to go ahead and take what we got. It's not the best, but it'll do. Now, unfortunately, because that is such an unusual shower placement. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's really weird. Anyways, uh, because Russ had to stay up during the night, their uh, fitness and strength are not that good currently, so we can barely pick up anything. So, for example, this trash bin, we can't even pick that up. Now one thing to mention is that because this is endless mode, there are more zombies starting out than normal. So the first siege, which will be occurring on the next day, will be a bit more difficult than, say, normal mode. I 
nice little combo there. You should always be on the look for that toilet loot. It'll help get you toilet genies faster, which means increased vitality, which is very, very nice for endless mode when you can actually get maximum vitality on your characters. Now, the umbrella shop I don't typically go to because the best thing it can have is, well, this umbrella here, which even then isn't that good in comparison to, say, Sturdy Machete. Come on now. So, we're just going to take it because it's a weapon early on, and it's better than nothing. And considering that that cane there is probably going to break at some point, I'm going to snag a couple more umbrellas from the shop. That one, I'm going to go ahead, swap these umbrellas off to rest, and then we're going to go ahead and take the other two. I can't pick up the shopping cart, and I don't feel like bothering with that, whatever. So yeah, umbrellas. Not the best damage, they have cleave, thankfully, but, uh... Uh, I'm not a fan. I'd much rather prefer the meat cleaver, and I do prefer it. So, yeah. Anyways. We're at a campsite. We can camp with them. Parafit doesn't trust them, which means that we have nothing bad happen, but I have trust in the RNG. Yay. Choose your fate. Uh, we're going to either exercise for fitness, rest teaches mechanic skills, or rest teaches medical skills. That's not going to be typically good early on when we only have the two members, so we're going to exercise for fitness. Especially because of that upcoming siege. Oh, okay, we have Swole Swan here, Phoenix, and Mega Buff. I will probably recruit them. What do we got here? Uh, adult Revolver, not good because we have the Snub Nose. 24 bullets, might be good. 30 shotgun ammo, eh. Uh, we have Weightlifter over there, Pipe Bomb Salesman, a person selling a bunch of destructive weapons, silence weapons, and spears. Uh, strength training might be good. How much, how much food do I have? 14. I just want to check what we can get with her. Parking meter is the most, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, this is not that good. I think I'm just going to go ahead, recruit Swole Spawn, and just hope we don't die. Because this first siege is rough. Worry about now? Okay, um, um, heads up now, I am sorry in advance, there's going to be a lot of screen shaking occurring, but Billy is going to be so clutch in this first siege. And it's actually going to be uh, running through the sewers, so this is actually not bad at all. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to prioritize smashing. I forgot to take a flashlight, but it doesn't matter, because it, it, it doesn't impact that much, because we can see the dark silhouettes of everyone. This place is pretty boring, in all honesty. There's not much happening. So I'll just 
Yeah. Look, we're already out. 22 zombies destroyed, and we get the amazing buff. What's it going to be? Billy with plus two mechanical. Everyone gets plus to fitness, medical, morale, or random skill gain. I'd say we're doing decent on morale right now, so I'm going to go for fitness because fitness training is always good. Look at that. Parafit already at max fitness. Camping with wood stove, we're going to go out and chop wood, and Parafit's going to, of course, have that duty because Parafit needs to be our main character here. Uh, ranting man. Russ is going to listen to him. And there you go. Civilized character at work. Uh, tree in the road. We're either going to lift the tree, plow through, or take a detour. Uh, take a detour. Uh, unfortunately, our car is going to break down. So we're going to get some bad events, but thankfully we have, um, Russ and Parafit to carry. Uh, that's not good. Uh, ooh, that's not good. Okay, we need to find food. We're leaving Morale Drainer behind. Morale Drainer is not going to be helpful at all. Oh. Hello, what? Alright, this is a very <laughs> big surprise! An early haunted mansion. What? What? I'll take it. Okay, so the haunted mansion is a rare looting event. It's one of the largest events in the game. And it has a lot of loot. Problem is, zombies like to dig up from the floor. On the plus side, there is furniture that you can end up using. Uh... Shooting. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to either, I guess. Okay, so, Haunted Mansion. Probably was a bad idea now that I think about it. I will shut that door for now, so hopefully we don't get too many intrusions. Please. I'm going to switch back to smashing because that's going to help for right now. Also carry the chair for a little bit so I can at least get a little bit of pity damage. I need to just get through this place really fast. Otherwise, uh, it's going to smell, spell a lot of trouble for me. So we're just... Okay. Next room, what do we got? Uh, random statue room, okay. Oh, and we have a ghost. Talking to a ghost, uh, yells at the... Oh, uh, I, I, okay, I need to check the, um wiki for this, because I've only been to this location twice, and I have not encountered all the ghosts. Haunted. Mansion. Death. 
road to Canada. Uh, Shy Ghost and a Taste Ghost. Ghost. Okay, I'm not. I'm going to not interact with this ghost because it will uh, be very negative for me by changing personality completely. I'm also going to flee back to this room. Chuck chair. Hey, hey, please let me through. Please let me through. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. How have you broken all of your weapons? This is why we improvise. Alright, we're just gonna go into this room. It is a bathroom with nothing of note in it. That's great. Thankfully, this haunted mansion's very early on, so there's not many zombies to worry about. This room, the best that we can at least, and move on to this room. It is no. And if I am correct, that is. Is this? Is this? Is, oh no! Wait, we got one more room here. Oh! Oh dear! We have yet to find the pantry room, which is the main highlight of this location. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. And, oh, we got one room here. <gasps> okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, this food. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that chair to rest on the ground. So this is a haunted chair. So what that basically means is that this thing never breaks or takes an extremely long time to break. Please come down, please come down. I need you for this room. Worst. So yeah, this singular chair is going to help carry this uh, mission. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Oh. Oh, here's the pantry. See, we got a lot of food here. Eh. Chairs have a lot of fun just existing. Alright, um, so that's the pantry done with. So, there's only one other room that I care to visit, and that is the weapon treasure room. Okay, 
I need to go down here. Oh dear. Shooting. Come on. And we're now officially out of ammo. I have no way to give the ammo to Billy. So, now we get to go through the rough sequence of trying to fight through this, despite everyone being tired. That chair will do something. I hope it does something. <laughs> okay. It, it did something. Can't confirm. It's actually doing a lot of something. Wait, wait, am I dumb? I think I might be dumb. Um, hmm. It's so weird, though, to get a day four haunted mansion. Me being the big dummy that I am, I'm not going to go back to that right now, actually. It's just better if I clear out this side of the house. And... Gotta mention, this is a really good song in the soundtrack. One of the best, maybe. I don't know, that might just be me speaking because I rarely hear this song. Because it only occurs in three locations. Okay, what ghost is this? Here, rest is the one that's actually injured. Okay. Um, sassy ghost. I can't actually interact with any of these ghosts. Except for if it was with Swole Swan. That's a bit annoying. I'll do that just to get the strength increase. And back to parapet.
So as we're going around in circles, picking off all the zombies to make it immensely easier for us to traverse the rest of this part of the mansion, um, I'm just going to say that these parts will likely be broken up into uh, sets of 10 days so that we can have a decent pace and so it's understandable how long 10 days takes. I'm, I'm also going to mention that I do plan on killing off Billy at some point because the screen shake is annoying and there are better characters to have than Billy. Mainly because Billy just consumes ammo rapidly. And while has a, a very good... Billy's good early on. I mean, really, Billy has already saved us multiple times. But uh, that usefulness will wane over time. I think it's just best if I move on. I'm not going in there. I think that's the treasure room, though. And this is a retreat back in here. Where's the haunted chair at? Where's the haunted chair at? I want my haunted chair! Here it is. I think. Yeah! Haunted chair! Own the zombies. Please come down onto the ground. Okay, thank you, friend. See, look at how useful this haunted chair is. Alright, I'm just going to toss that into there, just thin the board a bit. And, of course, to force them out so then we can kill them without me getting stuck on a choke point or something. Should be good enough for now. Uh, the... Boy! No! Okay, golden spear, it's like the golden knife, but... Uh... Spear. I think it has a uh, cleave from the looks of it. I don't know, I've, I've, I've never used this weapon before. Because I've only gotten the Haunted Mansion treasure once. <laughs> oh, this is a really nice quick one. I think that's everything. That's the pantry. Okay, I'm going to come back over here and go into the kitchen is here, right? Yeah, so it appears sadly that there was no haunted silverware. One more side to go through. Thankfully, because we have the weapon from the mansion, this is going to be a walk in the park. Even with being tired. Oh, this room's a bit bigger than I expected. Okay. 
Why are you swinging with the pistol? <laughs> Alright, I need to run circles a bit. get through all right and we're safe totally didn't bring my group into danger at all what are you saying okay let's just not yeah this is just the thing that's happening This is the Shy Ghost, meaning that, um, the ghost for now. I'm going to switch off to Swole Swan to kiss it. Which increases morale greatly and increases fitness. Harms twice though. So we're going to make sure that Swole Swan doesn't die in Phoenix. And that would entail not walking into that room. Let's just not get flanked by Zombos, that would be very appreciating of everyone here. And, and we, can, we can walk through this. I think this location is almost done. done. Sadly, that is. Get out. We have that bathroom that we've been in, and if there's no room over here... Oh, there is. This is the last room. And now we just have to escape. I did go to the right. Yes, I did. <clears throat> nope. <laughs> Zombies just never end. Alright, come on, let's get out. Oh! <laughs> 26 bullets, 1 medical, 47 bullets, 54 rifle bullets, and 28 shotgun ammo. And we heal Spill Spawn. Uh... 
I'm going to delegate rest to this, but it increases the morale because of food. Quiet city, we can either go to the pet shop or the gun shop, and because we do not have a friend of dog person on the team, gun shop it is. We will be depositing our flashlights back into the trunk because we are not needing them. This pistol can go in there, and let's ship off. Uh, smashing is a priority. We're gonna go to the gun stop first because that is right here. Going to go and uh, yeah, it's 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 another stop nose. We do get to stock up on quite a bit of ammo though. So yeah, nothing too extravagant. Just basic supplies, getting ready for the next siege, which should be happening the next day. I think I think the siege happens every three days. Can't go too long without something eventful happening. Honestly, though, I wish I could have got. <gasps> Meat cleaver! Rest, take it! You're going to annihilate so many things. I kind of wanted the uh, haunted silverware because a thing that not a lot of people really know is if you end up using it, which ends up throwing it, and it just acts as something like a boomerang of sorts. But if you have something else in your hand, uh, so it can't return to your hand, it'll just continuously revolve around you, still damaging zombies, so you basically just have a field of damage constantly. It's really neat. I've only had the, the haunted silverware one, so I haven't been able to appreciate it as much, but it was a lot of fun using it when I got to use it. Taking the time to loot all of these buildings, by the way, just because, well, I already ran out of food once, I don't want to do it again. Junk. No, no, skeletons, that's your fault. Boom. Oh, that's nothing too notable. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. We're just out there. Is there a building to loot left of the gun shop? Gun stop? Gun stop. Yeah. Perhaps? Nope. Okay, that's it. It was a pretty basic stop. And we're out. So, yep, yeah, perfect gets it. Uh, dentist office. I'm going to do... Eh. Questionable science, I guess. I don't know. I don't really like that event. There's... Okay, parafit's cool about fire safety. Boom. Easy. And we're out of gas again. Leap of faith, everyone's hurt. Oh, that's even better. Oh my gosh, why? Okay. <sighs> Why?
Okay, now I actually have to look up everything to make sure I'm not just dying. I'm going to scavenge Thornley because we have a uh, paranoid character. And we're going to heal one person, it's going to be Small Swan, the person that revives anyway whenever they die. Great. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do the apartment rescue. And it is because... The, there's a higher chance of me getting medical from here just because the bathrooms and then also the reward for rescuing someone could be medical which I desperately need at this point getting three damage events in a row like that hurts and I really need it because of an upcoming siege Okay, that's going to be either junk or medical. And it's medical. Alright. The old ones of Zombo were not pleased with me collecting something I did not need to collect. Are they in here? No. Are they really in the last room to check? last from the kitchen. One of these should be the kitchen at least. Uh, you can follow me, Scotty. More medical! That's strong. Out of here. Out of here. Final room. This should be a kitchen. Yeah, there was just no kitchen in here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And we're out of here. Please give us medical. Decent fitness, terrible everything else. Stash of 15 food. I currently have 24. Fitness training's better for the next Siege. Uh, rest is going to get increased strength, okay. This should be barricading before bed, pick someone to secure it. Uh, that would be rest because of high wits. Helping out someone in need. We're going to help him up. Check loyalty. Everyone has high loyalty. Heck yeah! <laughs> well, high enough loyalty. And, uh, joy. Oh! <laughs> Okay.
cat lady. What does good old Tian Nomi have? Eight food, grenade, three medical, considering that. Healing spray, I'll buy that immediately. Uh, destructive weaponry. And swords. Alright, well... And I will also go ahead and get that healing spray and equip it to parapet. And we're out of gas again. Merciless bandits. Great. Day. Everyone's morale tanks. Uh, hmm. Morale increases because we get a car. Okay, at least we. Oh! <laughs> Need to get out of that corner. Who did I exactly heal? I healed up Swole Swan and Ress. Okay, I didn't hit Billy though, so that's very bad. Billy does have a lot of ammo on his person at the moment. So, I'm gonna keep it at smashing. Because. I, I really want to conserve the ammo right now. Just need to provide an escape. Alright. And if I just defend this, this should be it. We need a looting location, or else Ress is going to leave. Uh, morale random skill gain. Uh, Ress gets increased medical, that's good. Parafit gets increased medical. Uh, Billy gets increased medical. Okay, Swole Swan gets increased shooting, that's good. This is not good. Grocery trust exercise. Pick someone else. I'm going to pick Ress. Hey. Okay, we're barely hanging in there. Uh. <laughs> what? What's Kung Fu Master? I've never seen that location. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want. Okay, so this this teaches martial arts to someone. 
which is nice. Big grocery store I needed for food, and hardware store could have a chainsaw. If I go hardware store, I'm not going to get food. Kung Fu Master, I might get food. But is the martial arts really going to be worth it whenever I get better weaponry? I'm gonna go for big grocery store. I need it. Desperately right now. Alright. Let's just try and get through this. On day 8 currently. Struggling quite a bit, but we're still alive. There's a lot of chairs in this room. How did no one die to the golden spear? Get out of here. He splits off uh, bathroom and storage room. Screen rumble. walk over the meat cleaver, someone's going to take that, hopefully. All of you are lame. Oh no, I guess... Hold on. I need to... I, I need to screenshot that. A bathroom with all toilets unopened. Oh, that, that just feels blissful to have happen. And it's Toilet Genie! Okay. I'm going to have Swole Swan take it. Because whenever Swole Swan gets revived, their HP goes back up to their maximum, which would be four in this case. So they would have more health on the re re resurrection. So it's important to have that happen. There's your interesting quirks of the day, folks. And more food. Taking one look, one last look in the shelves. Looks like we got one over here. And that's it. Do I hear run over the combo? Nope, we didn't. Okay, we got 24 food total. That's pretty good. That's three days worth. The aliens are responsible for these zombies. <sighs> this event is bad. I don't like this one. <laughs> oh, dodged. The Weggy board. 
It's the Weggy board. Will we make it to Canada? Where's the loot or who will betray them? The thrilling question of it all. Um, I'm just gonna say, where's the loot? Because who will betray them won't yield anything good. Will we make it to Canada? We'll kill Billy. So, uh, luck massively decreased. That doesn't mean anything. Miserable camping. How sad. Okay, we've run out of gas again. Parafit caught some fish, though. Cowardly bandit. What? What? <sighs> Yay! So all that food that we just looted, yeah, so that's gone. Now we get to look for car keys in the middle of nowhere. Get out of the way. Oh, well there's the car keys. that on you and I'll take the crowbar just in case. You never know when something could go awry. Now before I hop in the car, let's quickly get the gas from here and whatever toilet loop there is. Oh, not toilet loop, just junk. That's a bit saddening. Oh well, though. No, just let me alone, zombies! One, two, three, and four. Okay, we're out. I'll leave you with one empty slot. Billy's still at one health! <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> pharmacy because I need the healing. Wow, look at that two medical. These locations are awful. <laughs> That's pretty nice. I'm going to just put off collecting it for the longest time possible, though.
Toilet loot, gas. That zombie can live. Or on live. Undie. What? I don't know. Healing. That's good. That's good to have healing. amount of collected stuff. More medical? Hey. That's good, that's good, that's good. Picked up the pistol. Why? It's so trash. Finally healed Billy. Hmm. The group runs into another car, much like their car. It's rotting, nearly totaled, and it's full of skeletons and probably a bunch of bugs and other gross things. There's another sign that many attempt the death road to Canada, and not very many make it. Is terrific, be philosophical, rest. I, th I think I'm gonna go for the dismantle car part. Need to just check, though. I'll just dismantle it. Increases the Mechanical stat repairs our car. It's great. Uh, boring stop. Uh, we can eat and rest, which I think I should do. Or I could have done the big ol' you can't fool me. Welcome to day 10, the final day of this. <laughs> okay, what? Um. Okay. The big McDowell. Oh, this, this one, this one. The group loots at McDowell's, which was the most popular restaurant in the United States before civilization fell. Even after all this time, the food found here is still preserved due to all the chemicals. Warning, burging is not great for your health, but won't kill you. Do I consume 
the Bergs and pay the Berg price, or do I search the kid meal toys instead? I don't like this. I don't like this. I... Do I... I don't... I'm just gonna search for kids meals toys instead. Okay, okay. Well, we made it to another trader. <gasps> oh, hi! Uh, 60 gas for free food. Dirty machete for six, nine balls off the pen. Oh, the pain, the pain of it all, the pain of it all. Sturdy machete would be really good to get. Oh god, it would be really good to get. 60 gas is also really great though. But if I get the sturdy machete, I might not be able to. I'll resist hot deals for now. I'll wander back over here. Uh, 6 medical, run and combat crew, 22 shotgun ammo, we're going to save for now. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm buying it. Okay. Okay. He's gonna go ahead and die. And, uh, who's gonna. Spool Swan. Spool Swan now no longer has the need to use anything else. And we're out of here. And it's starting to rain. That's great. Always be looting. Mystery factory? Pardon? I've played this game for how long and I'm still finding locations I've never seen before? Mystery Factory. The group spots a factory whose signs have rusted to nothing. The zombies are swarming over the place. It's probably some of whatever the factory made left inside whatever it was. Um... Uh, let's just do it. This scares me a bit. What a fitting way to end off this. With just another rare location. I could have looted three separate rare locations. In the span of 10 days. That just astounds me that I had the opportunity to do that. Okay, uh, food, lots of gas. Uh, you can carry that shotgun now. Since I'm carrying all the ammo, anyways. Uh, skeletons, that's, that's nice, that's nice. And you gotta... The question is, what's in here? 
This is a food factory. There's just... Oh, wow, okay. There's just an overabundance of food here. Alright, this was a good choice. Already up to 16 food. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. What? You know what? No, I'm confiscating that shotgun. interesting weapon because it breaks easily but has insane knockback. Oh, there's a seat. Oh, oh. That's pretty neat. I want to break through the boxes. Okay, final branch of the factory. And here's more food. These machines seem a little bit familiar. Now, don't they? I want to get to that food. Let me to get to that food, zombos. Thank you. Only had to kill about 20 of you, but I mean, there you go. Oh, now that's, that's what I like to see, just all oh, pure just annihilation of zombos. Back of time medical, uh, the, the hunting rifle, really. Container of any gas. Mmm. I think we're gonna take the container of any gas. to say, this was probably one of the only factories I've ever looted that I was happy to have looted. Because normally factories suck because they're just really big areas with a lot of zombies and very little payoff. So let's just get out of here. A one, a two, skiddly, diddly, a do. 
Whoa, we made a lot. Smelly campsite, morale penalty, uh, but we actually get to sleep. Um, yeah, I can endure smell. Morale will go up from eating food. And with that, wait, just making sure. Is there a siege? We're going to decipher the message, uh, and I think this is the 11th day. So I think I'm going to end it off here. And next time we'll be running up to day 20. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. If you want to stay tuned to this harrowing series with Parafit, Rest, Swole Swan, and Billy, then I guess subscribe. So then you can see more in your subscription feed. Okay, goodbye.